please allow me to share Victoria, a 1962 Ford Thunderbird factory sports roadster. Victoria is finished in the original color, J, Rangoon Red, with red code 55 interior. Uh, what makes that, why am I accentuating that? Because many of the uh, sports uh, of the few sports roadsters that were produced uh, many have had color changes to Rangoon Red but Victoria was born Rangoon Red and the ones that were delivered in Rangoon Red largely have black interior so Victoria has a very rare color combination a la Rangoon Red with red interior and she is absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. If you look down the sides of her, she is as straight as an arrow. Uh, she was a southern car, so she is rust-free and underwent an open checkbook restoration, which included the exterior, the interior, the bright work, the Kelsey Hayes styled wire wheels, uh, the white wall tires um, and the mechanics including a full refurbishment of the uh, convertible top uh, system which we will get to in just a few minutes. 1962 uh, factory sports roadsters and the 62's were known as the bullet birds which were a takeoff on the uh, aerospace industry at the time and the lines on this are absolutely breathtaking you know anytime it goes out she gets all of the oohs and ahs and um, the exterior is finished in a two-stage PPG Rangoon red base coat clear coat. Of the only 1474 uh, factory roadsters that were uh, delivered uh, only a very limited number remain in this color combination and in this condition so she is very very rare the options include power steering power brakes power convertible top uh, AM FM cassette player which is a Thunderbird uh, 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 sound system. It is not the original, but it fits into the original uh, sound system space. Uh, the swing away steering wheel, which was well ahead of its time during the day. Uh, the clock on it uh, is in op, which is typically the case for most clocks um, of this era. Uh, the glass is too good to be original so I think during the restoration it was updated along with all of the rubber moldings around the doors and the windows and the trunk. Uh, I'd like to demonstrate another feature which was well ahead of its time which is the swing away steering wheel. Uh, for 1962 can you believe that it makes entry and exit of the vehicle for the driver much much more convenient. There's also a passenger assisted um, uh, uh, grab bar on now, the right hand side. Now, Norm, if you see that grab bar in one of these, that, that means it is a true sports coupe, right? That's correct. The, uh, the grab bar was only available on the uh, factory roadsters. Uh, and if you examine the VIN plate, it confirms that this is a true 76B, which is a true factory sports roadster. It also confirms the original Rangoon uh, uh, J color and the 55 red uh, interior. The bright work and the aluminum on the interior, which uh, is absolutely beautiful, and uh, the bright work, as you can see, uh, has been restored during the restoration. This aluminum area here tends to be, uh, 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 you know, very edgy on many of the T-Birds, uh, especially the convertibles, but this is absolutely beautiful. It's showing 62,000 original, uh, uh, 62,000 miles, which I believe uh, are original. Other options include 
the tinted windshield, the dual side view mirrors, the Kelsey Hayes style wire wheels, the rear fender skirts, the chrome engine dress up kit, which we'll get to in just a moment, uh, scripted Thunderbird floor mats in both the front and the rear, and another very important option today are, uh, are the seat belts, um, which are fully functional. Look at how beautiful the steering wheel is on it, Sam. That is awesome. No cracks anywhere whatsoever. And again, the swing away, which... Well, the no cracks is, is very unusual, especially for a car at this age. Because it's, it's and a convertible, which is highly exposed. And look at how beautiful exactly. the dash is. Well, that just says that this car has been stored properly. Yes. It's been in a garage somewhere covered all the time. Yes. This car is approximately 60 years old. Uh, which averages out to about a thousand miles a year. So um, it was used uh, very sparingly during its uh, lifetime. If those seal plates uh, look new, it's only because they are. So it was done again to a very high standard uh, during the restoration. If you look at the uh, at the door jams uh, again during the restoration, those were refinished as well. There's a very accessible uh, switch on the driver's door which raises and lowers the entire top assembly. The top can be raised with the tonneau on the back. Um, so there's no need to lift that tonneau. There are 17 relays that control the top going up and down and all of those are fully functional as you can see. And there's a very specific sequence of events that occurs with the top going up and down. But it works beautifully. Norm, the fact that this has been all reworked and it's all brand new is huge. I mean, it, it could be eight to $10,000 to redo all this. Yes. And, um, uh, that is the original trunk material because the aftermarket material that's available today is a very, very thin. But this is the original coating and uh, I've checked very carefully and there's no rust underneath uh, that, carp uh, th th that trunk mat, uh, which is very, very important. Um, and now we're closing it and please remember, this was 1962. I recently had it out at a restaurant. Uh, it was a little chilly when we pulled in, but when we pulled out, uh, the manager of the valet said, Norm, we'll comp the valet if you allow us to park this out front. And when we came out, it was a lovely evening. I put the top down. It drew quite a crowd, and the crowd actually applauded whenever that top went down. Um, to think that this was uh, accomplished both electronically and mechanically back in 1962 uh, some 60 years ago was quite a feat for Ford. And unlike many of the convertibles that were offered uh, with, uh, uh, that were not factory roadsters, the dealers, you know, these were very rare and were on allocation to the Ford dealers across the country. The factory sports roadsters were. Uh, but uh, this one does have the factory um, tonneau, with the padded uh, headrests in the back and the latch, uh, which goes underneath the center, uh, which holds it down um, uh, to keep it from rattling and, and coming up. Uh, you can see the seats in it. If those look like they've been fully restored, it's only because they have. The engine compartment um, is finished beautifully to show quality standards. It does have the chrome engine dress-up kit, which really does uh, dress it up, um, but it was, it's done beautifully uh, with all of the decals, as you can see. It does have the 390 um, high horsepower V8 engine with a four-barrel carburation and the dual exhaust system. Uh, so it does have plenty of get up and go.
from a cold start, no smoke at all. Sam, we're going to take Victoria out for a spin. Uh, Sam, as good as she looks, she is an absolute joy to drive. Um, you know, the testimonial to the low mileage is how nice and tight she is and how well the body panels all fit and line up. Uh, there's no play in the steering wheel. The brakes do not pull when applied. And with power steering and power brakes, it's just uh, a pleasure to drive it. It does not have power windows, which in my mind is a significant benefit. The last T-Bird convertible that I had, 63, that had power windows were an absolute nightmare, uh, especially the rear windows. Uh, I went, must have gone through those three or four times and they still did not function properly. Love the grab bar. <laughs> That's so awesome. Yeah. It's so great. Yeah. <laughs> well, this would definitely be a perfect date night car. Oh, yeah. Sam, the last six times I've gone out to dinner and have asked colleagues which of the cars in my collection they would like to go out in, five out of the six. Uh, pointed to the T-Bird Roadster to Victoria, which we, which we utilized. So, um, uh, it, 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 it gets all of the thumbs up anytime uh, it goes out. The lines on this are just absolutely timeless, and this has truly been one of my favorite cars over the last 50 years. Well, I am normally not a red car guy, but this in red absolutely works. I couldn't see it in any other color. Yes. It's perfect. Which is why many of those of the 1400 that were built, um, that were ordered, uh, while many of them did not come in Rangoon red, uh, underwent color changes uh, while they were still beautiful, still were not uh, in the original, in the colors they were born with. Uh, but this one was, Victoria was born Rangoon red. You know, which enhances its investment uh, value and growth and desirability. It, she is nice and tight and unlike many convertibles that run and drive like a covered wagon and rattle like one as well, uh, this is certainly not the case with Victoria. Well, you can feel that power too. You can feel the low end torque of this uh, motor. It just chugs. It's awesome. You know, the 390 engine uh, gives it plenty of get up and go with a four barrel carburation and the dual exhaust system. And uh, very importantly, it has a three speed cruise matic transmission with the overdrive, which is a great uh, cruising gear for the open road uh, touring. We're in high gear now and it's taking these grades uh, effortlessly and it will cruise at highway speeds effortlessly as well, Sam. It is the ultimate boulevard cruiser. <laughs> 